let's talk about essential oils and travel. When I got my very first starter kit of essential oils three or four years ago, I got them right before we had a trip to Florida. And so I remember just knowing minimal, right? So I knew Valor was good for mood, uh, kind of calming. And so I took that on the plane with me and was like huffing it and it worked. And I was like, good. I was like, this actually helped me. This calmed me and just gave me a like, good feeling about something that I was really naturally nervous about. So we have always traveled with oils since then. And I think there's so many different things that oils are great for in categories that are with traveling. So I just have six different things that I'm going to talk about um, categories or things that might come up during travel or just during the summertime and give you some ideas and essential oils to use for each one. So the first one is immune boosting. And there's not a ton of research on this. And but I do know that almost every essential oil company has an immune blend or immune support blend. So I do think there are some benefits and there are tons of oils that are antimicrobial and antiviral and things like that. So these are the oils that are in these blends, uh, tea tree, eucalyptus, clove, oregano, cinnamon, did I say lemon, lemon rosemary. Um, those are some other ones too um, that are in specific blends that I have, but you can use these by adding a few drops to a massage oil, a lotion, a roller, applying them topically, but also diffusing. Um, when you diffuse these antiviral and antibacterial oils their constituents and benefits go airborne too so they can kill germs in the air so take a personal diffuser I found it. this is just a very basic personal handheld diffuser this one's from rocky mountain but a lot of brands have these and amazon has them as well it's a tiny reservoir so you just put a little bit of water up to here and then like one drop of essential oil really easy to use and then you turn it on and it mist comes out and the, this one's rechargeable. They probably have battery operated ones too, but this is great for travel. And there, there are also like tons of different kinds of hard diffusers as well. But that is for immune support. Next is nausea relief. And this is something that I don't um, struggle with, but I know so many people do. So there, and I've heard so many different testimonies of in any kind of nausea, um, pregnancy related, uh, travel related, any testimonies on how these essential oils can help. So it's basically peppermint and ginger. Those are the two main ones. And just whiffing them from the bottle or making a roller and applying topically and taking some deep breaths that way using one of these as well. Uh, peppermint and ginger are so great for anything digestive but also helping with nausea to leave the house without a tummy roller, a headache roller, or an owie roller. And so the tummy roller works 100% of the time for us. My mother-in-law uses it, my husband, my girls, we all use it and it works so well. I don't even, I can't even explain it, but it works for every single digestive issue. That's another big one. You don't want to be stuck on vacation with an upset stomach. That's the worst. Sleep support, we do not sleep as good when we're not in our own beds, right? So we need some extra support. Lavender, chamomile, bergamot, any oil that you like and feel that is relaxing to you. So that's something to kind of play around with too, but those are the general ones. But again, diffuse, put it on topically, make a um, lotion, rub it on your feet before bed. Rue, valerian, and lavender, those are other uh, the other three like main ones. Um, but I just, honestly, I love chamomile. That's my like go-to lately. You can also make like a bedtime spray, like a pillow spray. So just add a few drops of essential oil into some water, shake it every time you spray it. Spray on your bed like 20 minutes before you hop into bed. Next is insect repellent. And then also like if you get bug bites to kind of relieve the bug bite. But there are so many essential oils that repel bugs and work. I use around our house, I use a spray of peppermint and I think it might have lavender, but peppermint's the main one in like repelling ants and spiders. But for like bugs flying around, like mosquitoes, things like that, it's citronella, lemongrass, catnip, which is such a strange thing for me or to me, like catnip essential oil, but it's a newer oil and we got some of that and made a bug spray with it and it works um, eucalyptus and then so make sure you're diluting always because you're probably going to use these ones on your kids so make sure you're diluting for kids at a one percent dilution um, it can be stronger um, if they're not as sensitive it's kind of one of those things to kind of play around with too but three percent is probably the most i would do this also can be sprayed on we made a bug spray but you can make a roller i feel like spray just covers a bigger area easier so that's why we do spray you can also diffuse outside too and then if you do get bug bites and need some relief, chamomile and lavender are great. Um, just in a little bit of carrier oil, um, just roll on as much as you need to kind of soothe 
the itchiness sunburn relief. This is a good just general summertime one as well. Um, I know we've been out in the sun so much lately. Lavender and chamomile, super soothing on the skin. I have an after sun spray. You can add it to some aloe in a spray bottle. Just like put like a teaspoon of aloe water or witch hazel and, and then your essential oils. Lavender is really like the main one. That's amazing for burns and it has been for like centuries. But anyways, cooling properties. Also, if you want to add like peppermint, that will feel good. Uh, the lavender is really going to soothe. And then calming and mood support. Like I said, it's stressful for me when I'm flying or traveling. Like I just want to feel, I feel out of control. So I want to feel in control. So I just need something to kind of help me settle down and like balance my mood. Um, Valor, like I said, that's probably my number one just because that is like the very first thing I used and that worked for that. But lavender, chamomile, frankincense, like grounding oils, cedarwood even would help that too. It's kind of one of those personal personal preference things though. So find what oils work for you in that way and then make a roller or a spray and use it intentionally. Okay, I think I covered the main kind of categories for traveling and things that would help. Um, let me know if I missed anything or if you want me to go, go over something in more detail. Let me know in the comments. There's also a blog post that goes with this so that I can add links and just more information there too. If you have any questions, so let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.